Good morning, YouTube! It is time! Well, actually, wait. It's not morning. It's 3 p.m. I'm actually talking to this lovely lady on FaceTime right now. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go link up with some cool freaking creative little YouTube people. I'm actually late. I was supposed to be at Mag Park right about now. So let's get into this vlog slash thing. We're gonna see some cool shoes. We're gonna see some cool clothes. We're gonna try to not stumble over our words like I just did and do all that fun stuff. So uh, let's get into it and meet some freaking YouTubers. And we have arrived, so let's see who's inside. The man, the myth, the legend. What up, man? So Jacob said he was feeling these joints. I never said that. You are lying. No, you like Supreme. You're Supreme guy. I I love Supreme. This is the ugliest, really heavy, very very heavy, grossest shoe I've ever seen in my life. I hate this shoe. I despise it actually. People wear these though. I know that's it's embarrassing. Yeah, clout level nine thousand. I actually heard it creases really easily too. This is the other shoe that. Yeah, yeah, that's the Supreme Louis V as well. I definitely think it's better. This just looks like I feel like you could just get a New Balance like this though. It's like this isn't this isn't that crazy. This man, look at this guys. I'm enjoying sneakers with like the sneaker gods. These guys are like like if you ascended, if there was a sneaker heaven, you'd have to answer to these guys right here, and they would determine whether or not you would get in. Look at my bro, my brother right here. What's this? Hey, this is my YouTuber bro. Yo, what is up, hey. man? Yo, what's good? Yo, look at this. Damn. This is my favorite box logo. You gonna cop? Oh, hell no. <laughs> man, look at all these famous people around me. Yo, we got freaking, we got superstars over here. We got Kais, we got Swag Diddy. We got Unknown Vlogs. Bruh. You know, Bruh. UK Tings. We got, we got uh, Tony the Savage, you know, over there spitting knowledge. We got Bullet RC right there. I'm gonna need to get all these people's autographs and start selling them. No, you're more eBay. famous than us, bro. No, I'm not. On the low. No, people don't even know know me. Oh my god! I told you. Yeah, Jacob. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Look at you. You got the handshake down that. <laughs> That's my man. That's my man. My man. My man's getting laid. I've never, I've never met a fan before. It's my first time. It's your first time. This guy's too humble, man. Oh, did you get that filmed? Of course. Damn, you're clutch. I do not know if that's them. It looks like it could be them. But anyways, we are here. Shout out to uh, the unknown vlogs, aka the unknown Blasian. Damn, it's lit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, shout out to the bro. He actually uh, got the footage of that girl uh, or woman. I don't know if you're watching this and you are a woman. Make sure you hit me in the DM. She was the finest thing ever, man. <laughs> finest thing ever, man. Loki, it was like when you do like fashion YouTube. Like I don't know about him. He's he's European, so he might get like a good female ratio. But a lot of us like men's fashion channels have like the, the majority of our viewers are dudes, obviously. So. When you get like a female viewer, like everyone's just kind of like, oh, super rare, man. Literally, everyone was like clapping and shit. I'm like, yo, chill, chill. This Bro, is weird. Bro, one of us, Kai, <laughs> They like Tony. made it so weird, and I was just giving them shit because I was like, I always tell them they're always the they're the big ones. They're all like the famous ones, and then like that happened. It was just like it was perfect timing. I feel I feel like it was set up from Kais or something. Anyways, we are about to hit this uh, Puma event, and I am literally Adidas down. Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. So hopefully they let me in, but Kais invited me, so uh, hopefully we can get in and see how it is looking. I love you! I love you, Tony G! I love you, Tony G! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
kicks in the world. I'm not worried about these women looking at me. I just want the dudes to look at me. Because I got the $1,500 kicks on. Let's get it. Start the show. Trying to do giveaways every spot. Oh, Oh shit. <laughs> we just both started vlogging around the same time. It's vlog inception. Anyways, so we are currently at Kmart. We are going to hunt for some Supreme Tees. And I'm not even sure if this is gonna make it in the video right now. It will only make it in the video if we find some Supreme Tees. I currently uh, I have a, a secret actually. I'm not gonna tell you guys that yet until it comes and it actually happens. But but yes, we are at Kmart. And we are about to try to acquire some Supreme Tees. We already decided we're gonna split them down the middle. So whatever we find, we will split. And uh, any leftovers, uh, we will box over. Okay, so right now it is looking very grim. I do not see anything at all. We're looking through all the t-shirt racks, everything. We can't find any blank tees at all really. Um, except for like these. But I don't see no Supreme Tees obviously. Just Route 66 and classic fit right here, but I don't see no Supreme anywhere But they're about to stay here. I think I'm gonna go check out. Okay, so I lied actually right here before we dipped tag. Duva here found the <laughs> nice post found the American Apparel $4 flash tag and as you can see they ripped the tag But this is a Supreme tee you can feel like you can definitely feel it Look feels neck. completely Ayy. different than all the other ones you can also see that it's got the double stitch on it so you can see the tag but it's almost like they saw the internet going crazy and they cut the tag yeah that's what somebody said dog they said they were doing that yeah like somebody yeah, like they posted and were like this shit's going crazy so the kmarts are cutting all the tags like i said duva found it so this one it's right, hers. Just hold on to it. Don't, don't let go of it. What you hold on to? I'm looking. Oh. What you talking about? I, just like for video I think we already uh, looked this whole rack though, which is kind of sad. Um, so now, hopefully, I will be going to Riverside. Okay, so I'm at the Riverside Kmart. I see the men's clothing sign now. The fact that we found one at the last Kmart has me super hyped. Like, I'm like super hysteric right now. But it's kind of a bummer that. They're cutting tags, like that's so annoying. I don't know, man. I'm kind of irritated though, because it's just like, it's kind of like you're ruining a very rare piece. I think the other reason that it, it kind of irritates me is because if I find one that actually has a tag on it, then I could use that for the video thumbnail and that would get way more views, I'm sure, or it would at least entice more people to click on it. I could Photoshop it on there, but I'm not, a, I'm not like that. I don't. I've done a little bit of clickbait stuff before, and I don't mind a little bit of clickbait, but I don't like just photoshopping extra stuff on a thumbnail that doesn't actually exist. I don't like doing that extra clickbait stuff. So, anyways, um, I do not see an American Apparel flash sale rack anywhere. In the last Kmart, it was on a circular American Apparel flash sale rack. They cut it again. These fucking bastards. You can see that's the double stitch right there. Why are they cutting them? Anyways, let's get to the next Kmart and see what they talking about. Okay, so in the next store, I actually got three American Apparel tees right here. So I got three American Apparel tees and I got the Supreme tee with the cut tag. Also, I talked to them and they actually said they are not cutting the tags. They're getting some scent with the tags cut. So. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm going to find one. This is the last store. I actually filmed another Kmart, but my battery died, so that was sick. But yeah, after this store, I'm gonna head home. So let's see if they got anything. Oh, I hope I find one with the tag still intact. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm not in my humble abode. I'm in the No Jumper studio, and the reason I have been filming videos in random ass locations is because I am not home in my beautiful studio that I miss dearly. So anyways, today I just want to quickly show you guys what I picked up from Kmart and I want you guys to know anyone that was worried about clickbait, don't worry, it was not clickbait. Yes, we got a freaking Supreme tee, a Supreme blank from Kmart. As you can see, that is a Supreme tag. Shout out to Coast for helping me to see if it's focused. But yeah, you can see little Kmart right there. Uh, it was $4. They marked it as an American apparel tee but you can see the Supreme tag right there. But yeah, super stoked to get this. And actually I got this from a subscriber because 
if you guys watched the video, I didn't have any footage of me finding this. A subscriber actually sent this to me out of the kindness of his heart. He hooked me up for free, so shout to Ricky Gardner. I'm actually assuming his last name is Gardner based off his Instagram, but I know his first name is Ricky. But anyways, thank you, bro. I appreciate it so much. It's so dope to have one of these in my personal collection. This is a size small, so it doesn't fit me, but I probably will not be getting rid of it anytime soon just because it's such a rare piece and it's just... I don't know, I just don't want to lose this. I want to have this in my collection for many years to come. I did get a Supreme tee with a cut tag. I actually talked to Kmart as to why they were cutting the tags. I was asking them like if they have any of the back that don't have cut tags. And I guess they actually got some of them sent with cut tags. So I imagine that American Apparel was sending them all their tees or something like that and they caught some of the boxes and cut them but then obviously they didn't catch all of them which is why these still have the Supreme tags intact. Now I did also acquire three American Apparel blanks. They also even just hooked me up with the hanger, so shout out to Kmart, you guys are oh so gracious. I got two black ones, and this is the uh, sustainable edition, so it's really soft like most American Apparel tees are, but it's a little bit thicker than your standard American Apparel tee. I plan on printing or getting some embroidery done on these tees and just making some like one of ones. I also got this neon pink one. This thing is fire, as you can see. Overall, super dope. I like this pink and I'm gonna get some one of one Jukes tee made with these, which is why I decided to acquire these for $4. It was quite a deal. Anyways, let me know in the comments below if you went to Kmart and you acquired some Supreme tees. If you did not and you slept like me, I apologize. I guess they were abundant in the Kmarts. But, um, I don't know, man. I did not think it was gonna be a situation like that. I thought it was gonna be a lot like those random rare shoes you see at Marshalls or Ross or whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button. And it's time for me to end this video and get the f*** out. Bang, bitch, holla when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers. Plugged in with the shooters in the ceilings for the game. I feel like crack at the money game. Fought with the mother saying.